Welcome back to Power Falcons Let's Play Extravaganza and Monster Rancher Evo. In the last episode, we finished exploring Conga Conga and ran a show, but we don't have enough money to do everything I want to do right now. So, we're going to check out the guild and see if we can get some extra cash, even though I seem to be very, very bad at doing guild missions. Oh, excuse me. So, looks like no one's having problems here. Awesome, okay, so, because what we're saving up for is we're trying to save up for a few items, a few high-level tricks for Leon, and, and the rest, of course, Zavlins too, since he's going to definitely be up there for my, uh, my depth chart, so, let's see, where do I need to go? I think the item, no, not the item shop, I need to go to the guild, which is this way? And then before the gate, I make a left turn, I believe. Yes, here we go. Because we've done a circus now, we've done a show, so hopefully the guild is willing to let us take a mission here. Okay, let's see what we can do. You failed a mission before, haven't you? This is all I can offer at the moment. <sighs> Give a show. Rank C... Looking for someone to put on a show in Conga Conga, something simple will be fine. Okay, let's do that. Wait, let's look through the pages. Number four. See again, what, you want me to put on four shows in eight weeks? That's literally impossible. Is that what that means? Because that seems like an impossible thing for me to do. Satisfaction for- like, I, we can hit Satisfaction 40 easily. Or does Give Show mean I need four monsters in the show? Like, I don't know what that means. Let's go ahead and take it. Um, because I know I can hit 40 Satisfaction super easy. Um, no, I'm not going to give up. No, no, no. Cancel, 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 cancel. All right. So we'll just schedule a show for as soon as we can. Now, because I have five monsters, does that mean that I'm going to fail it if I do four monsters? Because I'm not doing four monsters? Is that what's going on? Um, let's schedule a show. I have to go one more week, right? Yep, I knew it. Dick. All right. Um, because I complained about this when we first did a mission back in the very first area. That it was like, give show, and I saw number two. And then I... I Im I inferred that that meant I had to put on two shows in four weeks, and that's literally impossible. So I wonder if number is the number of monsters I need to have. And then is it a strict number, or does it mean I can fulfill it as long as... We'll figure it out. We will figure it out this damn week, uh, uh, month, because we'll test it out. And if it fails then maybe that means um, it requires the hard number of four rather than just an at least number of... D does that make sense? God, I hope I'm making sense right now. Um, but yeah, we need, we need cash, man. So I don't mind... I love giving the shows. The capture one is tough. The capture one requires us to go into the adventure zone, and I don't know what we're facing in there, so it doesn't really help me right now. But I'm more than happy to do some shows, because I know we can hit that 40 satisfaction. That's super easy. So pretty. Look at our awesome circus. I'm surprised no one's getting bored at the show. Of course, I'm surprised no one gets bored by this show. Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza. But, uh... Like, we're just putting on the same tricks. You would think that the townspeople would be getting a little bored of this. Marvelous! So, who knows. 
Well, whatever. Maybe people are easily entertained in this country, you know? Just put on some entertainment, they sit, they enjoy, even though we have like four people in the stands. Whatever works. I wonder what the circus looked like before this whole thing happened. I mean, the mochi ran away and died, which is what mochis need to do. And just, uh, I don't know, man. Like, we didn't have Nayuta doing her little thing. It was like our circus was pretty much down to just uh, Windlore playing his accordion and Marlene here doing her little belly dance or whatever she's doing. I mean, to be honest, Marlene doing a belly dance probably would be a good show no matter what else was going on in that situation. Half the time I don't even think the monsters are being watched at that point. Chet, chet. There. Yeah, excellent. I'm really setting their st their uh, tricks up a little weird. I need more flexibility. Had I realized that we can't buy low quality tricks outside of those first few towns, I probably would have bought more. I would have done a little bit more money grinding just to be able to ensure that I had flexibility when I was um, setting everyone's tricks up. It is what it is, though. I still haven't played much on my side file since uh, since when I played on my side file. I think on my side file I just got past the Grabod factory. I think? And I just got to the capital in Campana, and I think that's where I'm at in my side file. So, well, I haven't had much time to play at all. So, uh, you know, ah, oh, shit. Should have done the other one. Oh, whatever. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, there, in the last couple episodes, there's a lot of games I'm playing right now anyway, so. That is a great problem to have. Uh, got Gran Turismo Sport playing that, which is odd because I hate racing games. Um, and I, I only hate racing games because I'm not good at them. Like, that's what it comes down to. I'm terrible at racing games. I'm terrible at most games that require competition. I'm bad at fighting games. I'm bad at um, RTSs. Uh, you know, but I'm trying to get better. It's just, um, and I've talked about this on the show before, that like, I don't, uh, I, part of the reason why I am not getting better at those games is because I don't care enough to. Competition games are games where you really have to try to get better. You can't just fumble your way through it. And I've never loved a game enough to just dedicate months learning how to get good. It just is that simple. But... I want to get better at certain games. I just don't. <laughs> I don't have the time. Or, or honestly, I don't have the interest. Like, since I don't have very many friends here, like Flesh and Blood, and I don't like playing games online necessarily, because um, I am an introvert, even though I do this show, uh, I tend only to play against the AI for fighting games and racing games and the like. So I, I never go online to servers or anything like that. So, as a result, I don't really need to learn how to be super awesome at a game because you just set the AI as low as you want and you're good to go, you know? Um, so that's one reason why I've never been able to get good. And, like, when I was younger, like in, the, in my teenage years, I think I was pretty damn good at GoldenEye, but in GoldenEye, we had the four of us and we played all the time and because we were facing against each other, we were constantly improving our skills uh, because the best way to improve your skill is to face people at your level or maybe slightly above your level, and then you learn how to get better because you have to. And uh, we were doing pretty well. Um, we were pretty good at the game. Uh, Yoshi was a master at remote mines, but I was pretty decent at shooting and uh tactics and uh our friends had our uh, had their strengths too so um but then you know that was that was years ago and since 
uh, we got into college and became adults and everything, like, there just wasn't enough time for me to really commit to learning the new games. And especially now with all the flood of games coming out, like... You know, th there's only so much to go around. There's only so much time you have and can do. So, I don't know, man. Um, you know, that's why I like games like Football Manager, because I can take my time, and that's a game I want to learn how to do better. Um, but uh, most sports games, like uh, actual playing the sport games, just not really a thing for me anymore. All right, we definitely have the satisfaction um, on that one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything's fine. All right. So we're going to hit up the guild and see if I can cash in that mission for some extra cash. Uh, everybody seems fine. Our satisfaction was 86, but we got that star. And I have a feeling the star is, satis is a satisfaction bonus. We still don't have enough money for what I want to do, so we're going to have to put on yet another show in order to buy a red quality trick. That is my current goal. I mentioned a few episodes ago? More than a few episodes, because it was the last recording session. But I think what I need to do is have two green tricks, two yellow tricks, and a red trick. Because that seems to be what will get me the most satisfaction if... I'm understanding the system correctly. You already have a mission, don't you? What can I do for- oh, report. Come to give a mission a report. Yes. Well, now it seems you have completed the mission. Okay! Good! Finally! I'll rub your previous- I'll rub out your previous failure. Keep it up. Okay. Now can I do another one? Where I can give a show? Get item. Metal level two. One of my regular customers wants three metal level twos. Does anyone have any? Sure. I will accept that mission. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Let me leave. Okay, so you need three metal level twos. So, where the fuck am I? Alright, we're gonna go this way. The item shop is just to my left. So I wonder if I did the give show correctly and I just never reported it? No, because I don't think I had two monsters when I did it either. Because it said number two. So it's the number of monsters in the show, not the number of shows to do. All right, that makes sense. Okay, metal twos. Treat, medicine, consumable, food. Well, that's not good. Well, how the hell am I supposed to buy a metal if I can't buy a freaking metal? Was I supposed to combine to get a metal? Whoa, game. Ethnic recipe, jewel recipe, equipment. Do I have metal twos? Because that would be nice. Let's see if I can check what's in my backpack here. Metal level twos, so I have one. Damn. <sighs> I mean... Is there no way I can get met materials? Combine, talk, let's talk. Around here you can often find plants that are useful in the process of combining. Okay, but I'd have to do that in the, uh... Place. Some treats... I've got, um, Final Fantasy fourteen on the brain, and I'm like, can I just buy it and desynthesize it and then get the materials from it and give it to him? No, that's not how this game works, Pyra. Hmm. So maybe those missions are designed for you to travel to different areas to get things, I guess. I don't know, man. Maybe it's available now that it's a different month? We'll head back to town and see. Um, I've got enough money to buy that thing now, too. Shockingly. So, I might just buy the thing. Let's 
see, everyone's doing fine, okay. I still want to get his defense and life up, though. But, because of the way I raise my monsters, this whole trick thing is really good for me, because I can customize exactly what I want, because we need, we need someone with power and accuracy, or we need a trick with power and accuracy, we need a trick with, um, life and defense, and maybe speed and accuracy. It, like, those three tricks would be enough for me to get everything I want, with the occasional intelligence trick thrown in there for monsters like Arshia. So, man, I love the way this game's designed. I will not stop saying that, because it's true. This game's designed well. The translation's garbage, but the game is designed very well. All right, let's see if you're selling it now. No, you don't. You don't sell materials. So how am I supposed to get a material? It has to... Okay, I bet you get item then it requires you to go adventuring. That would make sense. Because I bet you I could find the metals in um, in the adventure. I mean, I, I'd find any material in the adventure. And if I set the right items for my monsters, I could probably get that stuff. So it totally makes sense. Intelligence, life, speed, accuracy. Is that it? Power defense. And what did I give him? I gave him a life thing? Because I gave him the half pipe. Defense. So I need to give him life. Here, and not intelligence. Okay, so speed, accuracy, life. That's what I need. I need that thing. So, we'll get one of those. And I bought a laser delay, so... We will combine the pipe kit with, because that's life, that's defense, and then we put in the life tank, and then we add lasers. Yes, that's what we need. Maximum power. Oh, there's a chance that it's better, even? Cool, alright. Yeah, we're good with that. Thank you. Okay. So now I still want a red kit. Speed, life, accuracy, intelligence, intelligence, speed, life, power, power, speed. Hmm. I don't have any monsters that are primarily speed. Or life. And this one would be great if I had... I guess that'd be good for Arshia. Life and power is not bad. Alright, let's save up for that one, the cannon relay. Because life power isn't bad, especially if I throw an accuracy kit on it. Do you sell accuracy kits? Yes, you do. So that's 6,000 plus 5,000, so that's 11,000. I want to put a prop on it, so that'd be 13,000. And... So 13,000 plus the combination cost. So we're looking at about 15 grand in order to get the trick I want. But that'll be a game changer. Like that trick is going to be exactly how I like fighting. So I'll be able to train a whole bunch of stats at once for any monster that is physical power. So I can give that to Zavlins once we get things organized. Or any new monster that winds up being made. Damn. Alright, how do I change this trick? Oh, I have to do it after the meeting. Okay. Or at the meeting, rather. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna lose a little bit of motivation here, but that's okay. I, I don't mind. Um, because he desperately needs to get life and defense up. So, I don't care about your wanting power. You can suck it. Alright, um... So, I should check monsters. There we go. Accuracy is high, intelligence is... Eh. I need to get her intelligence up more. Do I have an intelligence machine? She likes intelligence being trained anyway, so... I do not have an intelligence machine. Okay, that's what I should wait for as well. Um... That's the one she's probably using right now. 
Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, let's... God. Oh, these tricks are so weak, man. They're so weak. Alright. And then Lambert needs... Let's switch you to power and defense. I think. Yeah, your life is at level 4. Zavlins' life is at level 4. Let's change his to power and defense. Ideally, we will eventually have so much money that we can just buy exactly what tricks we need at any given time. But it requires you to really think ahead and get this going. Alright, so I'm going to cancel the mission we've got. I'll do that in the next episode, but I've got to cancel the mission we've got, and then we can um, uh, keep training for a bit, try to get everyone's tricks going. We can see what that halfpipe trick is going on with Leon. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.